Welcome to first time watching channel, today I am going to explain comedy drama movie released in 2023. At the beginning of the movie, a former male stripper Mike Lane discovered himself alone and adrift in a sea of broken emotions and unfulfilled ambitions. In the wake of losing his furniture business to the COVID-19 outbreak, Mike Lane now resides in Miami and works as a bartender for a catering firm. At a charity dinner, Mike finds himself serving drinks to affluent socialite Maxandra Mendoza from London. A lawyer for Max's charity named Kim, who came over to have a drink, also recognizes Mike. As she navigates her divorce, Max thinks she needs a diversion. After the event, Max asks her staff member to invite Mike to speak with her in private. Max claims that Kim told her about his abilities while they are alone, and he inquires as to the cost of a lap dance. When pressed by a price, Mike initially replies that he is retired but then offers $6,000 instead. Max offers Mike $6,000 for a private, intimate dance as a form of retaliation, understandably, she balks at his earlier request for $60,000. This is done in an effort to tempt Mike out of his self-imposed isolation. Mike agrees, he pours out what appears to be a whiskey and gives it to her, telling her to finish it, tests out the furniture to make sure it can support the weight of his acrobatics before he begins his work. Mike complies with her request, beginning with a lap dance and progressing to what appears to be a complex home gymnastics routine. The fascinating and beautiful dance scenario makes you want to see more. Mike and Max wake up together. A romantic evening with Mike rekindles Max's zeal for life. Max wants to hang out with Mike more, but they can't share beds anymore. Max offers to take Mike to London for a month and pay him the $60,000 for his time, saying that it is completely business. Max claims it's simply business while concealing the fact that she wants Mike to assist her in getting revenge at her unfaithful, extramarital husband. Mike agrees, and the two of them set out for London. Max gave him the chance to fulfill his dream of hosting his own stripper dance show. When he arrives, though, he is shocked to learn that Maxandra wants to hire him to choreograph and stage a new play in the stuffy old London theater that she has acquired as a result of her divorce from her husband. The play there is profitable, but Max wants to shut it down and start making male strip shows instead. Mike has been assigned to lead a stodgy theatrical production at the fictional Radigan Theater, one that is being hampered by mediocre performance, a lack of creative direction, and, to put it gently, retrograde gender politics. Later that evening Mike had a video call on Skype with his buddies, apologizing for ducking them and letting them know that he is in London and promised to repay his buddies the kings to Tampa who had lent him money. Max and anyone else who would listen have heard Mike swear that while he will do whatever it takes to bring the Radigan concert to life, he will never dance. Max handpicks Mike and a fresh group of tone dancers in an effort to save a show that is all but guaranteed to fail. Max also gives the former ruler of Tampa a chance to put on his own show. The scene shifts to Mike trying unsuccessfully to tie his necktie in front of the mirror when Victor comes over and offers to help. Mike's asks about the friends he'll be visiting tonight. Victor retorts that they prefer the status quo. Footsteps approaching it was Max who looked incredibly expensive as she walked towards her car with Mike in grand style. Both of them engage in constant conversation at the dinner table. When Max moves to kiss Mike in a car and Mike appears to draw back, she tells him that she's just drunk. Mike reminds her that she just had one glass of wine with dinner. They eventually got into a fight. Mike and Maxandra struggle to put together a performance that the latter hopes will persuade the women who watch it that they don't need to make as many sacrifices as they think. Together with the chauvinist British institutions that seek to stop them from performing their play, Mike and Maxandra struggle with one another. Although they are attracted to one another, they are unable to commit to one another in its entirety due to Mike's difficulty to be completely vulnerable and Maxandra's lack of faith in his affections for her. Maxandra chooses to terminate the project after learning that doing so will endanger her personal financial security. Mike, on the other hand, won't let her abandon him and their enterprise. 
with the aid of Maxandra's butler Victor, Ayub Khan Din, and daughter Zadie, Jamelia George, Mike is able to organize a one-night performance of his play prior to it being closed down permanently after a rain-soaked dispute with Maxandra gives him an idea for their show's grand finale. A few nights later, Maxandra comes at the theater and is shocked to see that her and Mike's performance has exactly the desired impact on the audience. As if that wasn't enough, when she witnesses Mike execute the show's big finale, she is compelled to put her love anxieties behind for good. Maxandra and Mike's dispute in the rain is transformed into a jaw-dropping dance sequence by Mike, who is joined by a gifted ballerina, played by real-life dancer Kylie Shea. The show is not only breathtaking to witness, but it also serves as an appeal to Maxandra to keep working on her relationship with Mike. Later, as the audience roars in approval of their performance, Mike and Maxandra once more meet face to face. Finally, the couple declares their love for one another and enters the swarm of revelers holding hands. Maxandra forfeits her portion of her husband's income as a result of her decision to support Mike and their show, although Magic Mike's last dance's climax suggests that Maxandra and Mike won't have trouble attracting viewers for their endeavors. In other words, Maxandra's wish for her play to succeed is realized at the movie's conclusion. She doesn't ultimately have to decide between Mike, her daughter, and her own financial stability. However, she ends up getting everything she desires as it should be. That's the end. Thank you for watching.